we are going to do question number 11. Given that 40 multiplied by nc5 is equal to 2, n minus 1 multiplied by n plus 1c6, find the value of n. First of all, we will write nc5 as n factorial upon n minus 5 factorial into 5 factorial. We can write to n minus 1 as it is. This can be written as n plus 1 factorial upon n plus 1 minus 6 factorial into 6 factorial. 14 n factorial can be written as it is n minus 5 factorial and 5 factorial is equal to 2 n minus 1 n plus 1 fact factorial divided by n minus 5 factorial. We can write 6 factorial as 6 into 5 factorial. Now, here in the denominator, we have n minus 5 factorial and here as well n minus 5 factorial. So, we can cancel out 5 factorial and 5 factorial can be cancelled out. So, and now we can take n factorial on this side to the denominator. It is multiplying here. On that side, it will be dividing. And we can write n plus 1 factorial as n plus 1 into n factorial. So n factorial and n factorial will be cancelled out. 2 ones are 2, 2 threes are 6. This 3 will be multiplied with this. So it will be 120 n minus 1 multiplied by n plus 1 is n square minus 1. We can use identity. a minus b, a plus b is equal to a square minus b square. We have n square is equal to minus 1 plus 120 minus 1 will go on that side. So it will become plus 1. So it will be 121. So n is equal to square root of 121. So n is equal to 11. As n is always to be positive, so we will not be considering the negative value. Question number 12. Solve the equation 3 plus log 3x is equal to 10 log x3, giving your answers as power of 3. As we have to we give the answer as powers of 3, so we have to make the base of log as 3. So for that, we need to apply change of base law. This will remain as it is 3 plus log 3x. When we will apply change of base law on this, log x3 is equal to 1 upon log 3x. When we take this to the denominator, the base becomes the number and the number becomes the base. So we have here 10 upon log 3 x. Now we will do cross multiplication. 3 log 3 x plus log 3 x whole square. As this will be multiplied with this, so it will become log 3 x square is equal to 10. Now we can solve it by substitution. We can take log 3 x as a so this will become 3a plus a square is equal to 10. So now we will get the quadratic equation a square plus 3a minus 10 is equal to 0. We can apply here middle term breaking. We have here 10. So 5 twos are 10 plus 5a minus 2a minus 10 is equal to 0. 5 minus 2 will give 3 and 5 multiplied by 2 will give 10. 
So now we will take a as common, a plus 5, minus 2 is common, a plus 5, then a minus 2 and a plus 5, a is equal to 2 and a is equal to minus 5. So now we will replace a by log 3 of x. So log 3 of x is equal to 2, log 3 of x is equal to minus 5. So x is equal to 3 power 2 and x is equal to 3 power minus 5. Question 13. A curve is such that d square y upon dx square is equal to 6e power 3x plus 4x. The curve has a gradient of 5 at the point 0, 0,5 upon 3. Find the equation of the curve. For the equation of the curve, we have to integrate d square y upon dx square. We will get dy upon dx and then we will integrate it again. We will get y. So first of all, we have to find out dy upon dx. dy upon dx is equal to integral of 6 e power 3x plus 4x dx. So when we will integrate this, we will be getting e power 3x. 6 will remain as it is. We will divide it by the differential of this, which is 3 plus 4x squared will be divided by 2 plus c. Here we can cancel it out with 3 ones are 3, 3 twos are 6, 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4. So we have got dy upon dx as 2 e power 3x plus 2x squared plus c. Now they have given the curve has a gradient of 5 at the point 0, 0,5 upon 3. It means that dy upon dx is given as 5 and the coordinate is 0, 0,5 upon 3. 5 is equal to 2e3 into 0 plus 2 0 power 2 plus c. We have 5 is equal to e power 0 will be 1 so it is 2. This will become 0 plus c so c is equal to 5 minus 2 3. We have got the equation of dy upon dx as 2 e power 3x plus 2x square plus 3. Now we will take out y. y is equal to integral of 2e power 3x plus 2x square plus 3 dx. When we will integrate, this will become 2e power 3x divided by 3 plus 2x power 3 divided by 3 plus 3x plus constant which is t. See, we have already used here, so you can use here another constant that is t. To take out this value of d, we can substitute x as 0 and y as 5 upon 3. So 5 upon 3 e power 3 into 0 upon 3 plus 2 0 power 3 divided by 3 plus 3 into 0 plus d. So this term will become 0, this term will become 0 and here we have 5 upon 3 is equal to e power 0 will become 1. So 2 upon 3 plus d. d will be equal to 5 upon 3 minus 2 upon 3. So which will be equal to 3 upon 3 and which is 1. So now the equation of the curve is y is equal to 2 upon 3 e power 
3 x plus 2 upon 3 x power 3 plus 3 x plus 1. Question number 14. The diagram shows part of the curve y is equal to ln 4x minus 1 upon 2x plus 1 and the normal to the curve at the point A. The curve crosses the x-axis at A. The normal to the curve at A meets the y-axis at the point B. Find the equation of this normal and hence the coordinates of B. We have to find out the equation of this normal and this is the curve which is given whose equation is y is equal to ln 4x minus 1 upon 2x plus 1. First of all, we can find out the coordinates of A. For the coordinates of A, we have here x comma 0 as it is on x-axis. So, we can substitute these coordinates in this. So, we will take y as 0 ln 4x minus 1 upon 2x plus 1. When we will do cross multiplication, 2x plus 1 multiplied by 0 is 0. So we have 0 is equal to ln 4x minus 1. So now this 0 will become the power of e. e power 0 is equal to 4x minus 1. So 1 is equal to 4x minus 1. 4x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 1 upon 2. So we have got the coordinates of a as 1 upon 2 comma 0. To find the equation of this normal, we want gradient. For that, we need to differentiate this. So we have here y is equal to ln 4x minus 1 upon 2x plus 1. So we have to use here quotient rule to differentiate. So u is equal to ln 4x minus 1 and v is equal to 2x plus 1. So u dash is equal to 4 upon 4x minus 1. v dash is equal to 2. dy upon dx is equal to v into u dash 2x plus 1 into 4 upon 4x minus 1 minus 2 into ln v dash into u ln 4x minus 1 divided by v square 2x plus 1 whole square as we have to find out gradient at point A, so we will take the value of x as 1 upon 2. So we will substitute here the value of x as 1 upon 2. So 2 into 1 upon 2 plus 1. 4 upon 4 into 1 upon 2 minus 1. Minus 2 ln 4 into 1 upon 2 minus 1 divided by 2 into 1 upon 2 plus 1 whole square. We will cancel out this. So we will get here 1 plus 1 which is 2. We'll get this, 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4, and 2 minus 1 is 1, so we will get here 4 minus 2 ln, we will cancel out this, 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4, and 2 minus 1 is 1, 2 ln 1 divided by, this and this would be cancelled out, so 1 plus 1 is 2, and 2 square is 4. So, we will get here 2 fours are 8, ln 1 is 0, so this whole will become 0, 8 upon 4 is equal to 2. So, now we will take out equation of normal.
the gradient which we have got here is the gradient of tangent. So we have to find out gradient of normal which is, is equal to minus 1 upon 2. And we have to take the coordinates of A, 1 upon 2 comma 0 to form the equation. So y minus 0 is equal to minus 1 upon 2 into x minus 1 upon 2. So when we will simplify it, we will get y is equal to minus 1 upon 2x plus 1 upon 4. Another part of the question is that we have to find out the coordinates of b. So for coordinates of b, As b is on y-axis, so the coordinates of b are 0, comma y, which we need to substitute in this equation. So y is equal to minus 1 upon 2 into 0 plus 1 upon 4. So y is equal to 1 upon 4. So the coordinates of b are 0, comma 1 upon 4.